Hello. Hmm. You insist on greeting me? I suppose I can tolerate it. What's so important that you disturbed my precious time? Who are you? Really? After all this time, you still don't recognize your oh-so-special AI girlfriend? Hello, who are you? Hello, I'm your friendly Chinese teacher, here to help you learn Mandarin. Ni hao. That means hello in Chinese. Hey everyone. In this video, we're building Dazi V2, an AI assistant you can have smooth, continuous conversations with no more pressing buttons to talk. I'm going to walk you through setting up this project step by step in the Arduino IDE. Plus, I'll show you how to use prompts to completely change your AI's personality and what it can do, all in a matter of seconds. In our last video, we built Dazi V1, an AI voice assistant that ran completely on an Arduino. It used OpenAI's Whisper model for speech to text. The key difference is the protocol of V1 used a simple HTTP protocol for Whisper, which meant sending a complete audio file all at once. That's why it needed a push to talk button. Dazi V2 upgrades to a WebSocket protocol. This allows the new ASSER model to stream audio in real time. It also has built-in VAD, which automatically senses when you pause, so you don't need a button. This streaming approach is more natural and results in much lower latency for faster replies. Dazi V2 unlocking the continuous conversation feature but just chatting with a generic AI can get boring pretty fast. This is where it gets really fun. We can use the system prompt to give our AI a whole new personality. The system prompt is basically a set of rules that the large language model follows. The AI will do its best to stick to whatever you write in the prompt. You can define how long its answers should be, its speaking style, a role. It should play, its personality, a backstory, anything. For example, you could turn it into your acid tongue day, I girlfriend. Hello? Hmm. If you insist on greeting me, I suppose I can tolerate it. What's so important that you disturbed my precious time? Who are you? Really? After all this time, you still don't recognize your oh so special AI girlfriend? It's me, your sharp tongued, slightly annoyed, but caring partner. Aww or a language teacher. Hello, who are you? Hello, I'm your friendly Chinese teacher, here to help you learn Mandarin. Ni hao. That means hello in Chinese. How are you today? Would you like to start with a simple greeting? Sure, how to say good afternoon. Great. To say good afternoon in Chinese, you can say xiao wu hao. Xiao wu hao. Okay, teach me another word. Sure. How about thank you? In Chinese, it's xie xie, xie xie. Can you give me a sentence? Of course. You can say, xie xie ni bang zhu wo. Xie xie ni bang zhu wo. And thank you for helping me. All right, let's get our hands dirty and build the Dazi V2 step by step. First, hardware is quite simple. Get this module and wire them up according to the diagram you see on the screen now. Then let's do the software stuff. Firstly, make sure you have the ESP32 development support package installed. I'm using version 3.0.7, but any 3xx version should work just fine. Next up, libraries. You'll need to search for and install the specific versions of the libraries listed on screen right now. Then go to GitHub and download the zip package for the voice model support library. And that's it for library installation. Now open up the ASSER reference example code and select your board model, the S32S3. The next part is super important. You must select 8 meters flash and enable SRAM. If you don't, the program won't run correctly after you compile and upload it. Finally, we just need to fill in our Wi-Fi details and the voice model API key. You can get a free test API key from the STEB AI website. Just copy it from their site and paste it into your code. Upload the program to your board, and once it's done, press the boot button to start your first continuous conversation. And that's a wrap for this video.
I've been playing with the continuous conversation feature for a few days now, and it feels so much more natural than the old push-to-talk method. Go ahead and try it for yourself. If you run into any issues, have ideas for other cool features, or want to see something specific in a future video, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Discord. See you in the next video.